Welcome back to Beast Mode or Bust. My name is Exo, and today we're going to look for some trouble in the trailer park. That's right, folks. We're going to do a horde night here. And I'm definitely going to die because it's a trailer park. And it is not suited at all for a late stage horde night like I plan on running. We are level 88. Game stage is 105. I've distributed my skills... Mostly according to how I would when I'm playing the game, other than I put a little bit extra into some of the guns, and I have three different types of guns maxed out. But we'll go over this real quick, and then we'll get started on the planning, building, and execution of Horde Knight. So, in Perception, we really did nothing. Uh, a lot of this is good for survival, early weapons, demolitions, which I'm not really using a lot of explosives. Strength, uh, Boomstick. Pummel Pete, I think those are both good. I'm gonna play with uh with the clubs instead of the sledgehammers this time. Uh, a little bit in some of these, less than you would normally see in a lot of this bottom stuff. Maxed out heavy armor. Over here, we've got machine gunner. I typically don't use this at all. I wouldn't normally go into fortitude very much. Uh, a little bit for cardio and iron gut. Uh, so I did go in there, pain tolerance, well insulated, but I normally only put a few points in this. But I really wanna use the assault rifles in my creative world because I don't really ever use them in survival. Agility we've got maxed out. I love nine mils, pistols, uh, SMGs, both are just incredible. Hollow points, it's, I love it. It's it's very affordable in survival too, which is probably part of it. So I maxed that out. I've got parkour at level three, couple points in a running gun and that's that's really it there. And then of course, we, we're gonna have junkie. So a couple points in a position just so the, the health kits actually do something. And that's pretty much it. Weapons are gonna be a couple level fives and a level six. You see the mods on them, nothing special. A little bit of rad removing on, uh, on, on the SMG. And then I'll probably put rad removers into a junkie. I need to make a junkie. I've got one club and I've got a few mods in it. And then in our gear, we, we really don't have a whole ton of crazy stuff. I went ahead and did a level six here for the flashlight, a level six here so we could have the bandolier. And then the rest of the stuff I left level five and put some decent stuff in it. I like heavy armor, it's it's nice and tanky. I like to get up close uh, with shotguns, SMGs, and things like that. So uh, I have the double pocket mods on that. I put a point into pack mule. I'll probably put a second or third. It really doesn't matter too much, but it's nice while I'm building or doing things in creative to not have to deal with that. And then as far as books go, I didn't max any of them out. Uh, I just put some points in where it made sense in some of the combat areas. On assault rifles, on pistols, which also affects SMGs, shotguns. Nothing crazy. Really just something to kind of keep it balanced. Because you got to think, if my game stage is over level 100, I'm going to be running an over level 100 horde night tonight, or overnight 100 horde night tonight. So... That'll probably make sense. I, I should be about this level. Honestly, I would be a lot higher on like my multiplayer survival server or something like that, but we do play with XP at 125% on there, and we play together, which does help hasten things up, and I do a lot of the building. So right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through, I've already gone through in, in God Mode and cleared out the trailers. I'm gonna go ahead and start taking out some of the things that would either explode or the zombies would use to get up on the trailers. So I actually sorta of did this challenge. I had some mic issues, but I also didn't like a couple things about how I built. So I'm, I'm redoing it a little bit. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go through, clear all this out, and then I'm going to start building catwalks that connect all of the trailers together. And then this guy over here is actually our thousand dan or our 10,000 hit point trailer. So if we give ourselves a nail gun real quick here, I like using nails because they really don't do much damage. You see, it's got 10,000 HP. So this one is going to be where we kind of fall back and have our, you know, worst case scenario, these trailers get torn down and stuff like that type of deal. Uh, one thing I do need to keep in mind is that it does seem like if I have trailers with pillars under them, even if they tear out most of the trailer, it won't fall because that counts as a support. So the metal catwalks go a lot further than I realized. And, and you'll see when I start doing some building what I'm talking about, but I'm gonna try to make it where the trailers aren't held up artificially, so to speak. You know, if one's gonna go down because they've torn into it, I want it to go down. So I'll get all this cleared out 
and then we'll start building. I'm going to leave all of the porches because I don't really care if they break the doors and go inside. Hell, I might leave the doors open, but I, I, I don't care at all about that. I only want to eliminate things that are either going to blow up or are going to help them get onto the roof. I am going to take the porch off on this because I'll build little stairs coming in. Whoops. <laughs> There's a little bunny buddy. Looks like we're all done cleaning up out here. Pick out these last couple things and pick out that last little bit of fence. I don't want them to get up there or jump up there. So now all we need to do, shit, is we need to build all the catwalks and then I'll set up a little bit of a kill defense in there, probably just like a two layer something. I, I don't want to make it where I could cheese it through a night. You know, I, I, I expect to die. I just want to have some kind of fighting chance and say in my death. So I'll go ahead and we'll do a bunch of magic of video editing. Oh, there, there's our little bunny buddy we saw. Uh, we'll do the mad through the magic of video editing. I'll make this very quick and you'll see the build progress. We're going to build it with some fairly moderate materials. Nothing, uh, nothing too crazy. And then we'll go ahead, fast forward the clock, and get rolling. And there's the basic premise of how each one's going to look. You know, protection from birds. Birds are not our friend. And this is high enough. I didn't want to make it shorter because then jumping would be difficult. So if I, you know, do need to jump and try to get away from a zombie or something like that, I can. And now I'm going to go ahead and repeat this on the other roofs. After, you know, tear the little shit off on the top of the roofs off. And then I'll build the catwalks. And look at that, we're done. Looks nice. It looks nice. Well, all the roofs are done. So now I'm going to drop down and get these catwalks placed. What I want to do is I pretty much want to just center place them between these. But then I'm going to do connections between each of these. You know, so every, every trailer will be connected to two trailers. Okay, catwalks are connected. So, you'll see what I meant by, hey, they're supported without any columns, so I don't want to put a column in, because if this one goes down, you know, I really don't know. It might just, these may just be real, real busted as far as their structural integrity goes, but I've got to think that some of it would collapse. Um, other than that, though, I'm going to put a couple ladders out here so I can jump onto trailers when I inevitably have to make my way from the top of a falling building to another building and I'm not near one of these or in case one of the catwalks gets knocked down or something like that. So we'll put the ladders in real quick because I've got points in a parkour, which I love in survival. I only need one ladder here. So the zombies being able to get up here via this ladder is going to be real tough for them. And before I die to a stream of demolishers that climb the ladder somehow. Clean up a little of this trash here, you know, no sense in having trouble in the trailer park when the trailer park is dirty. You know, we can still we can still take care of things. I don't need to have a mess everywhere. But I do like the hole in the ground from the car incident earlier. Add some character. Really add some character. Alright, now let's go take care of our little home base, so to speak. So, this will be our final stand. If we're up on the roof here and things get too hot, we've lost the trailers or, you know, they're they're in such disarray that they're going to drop and we don't want to fight them on foot. We're going to come here. We're going to drop down like that. Keep that door closed. We're going to come in here, throw this hatch up. And that's it. It's business time then. So, it's going to be rough, you know? I feel like that's really not a lot of protection. So, we don't want to die, right? That's kind of the goal. Okay, so I'll leave the electric post up and stuff like that. We've taken out a lot of the other risks around here. I'll leave the fire barrel. I like it. But it's nice and cleaned up. We don't have cars to blow up anymore. Because, you know, we blew up one of them. 
few some of these tires out, you know, shopping carts and shit. But we we can go ahead and make sure that we have everything we need for Horde Knight. I'm gonna run hollow point ammo. Nothing too crazy. Again, I'm trying to keep this somewhat reasonable. Ha, huh, whoops, we hit a tree. I'm trying to keep this somewhat reasonable, you know, because I, I don't want this to be just some easy challenge where I, I have a bunch of stuff and make it through a Horde Knight. I want it to be where if I actually survived this Horde Knight that I did, you know, well. So I'll go ahead, get my inventory sorted out here, and then we'll cut to, a, I, I'm not really sure. Probably somewhere between 150 and 200. So uh, we'll we'll do a pretty high level horde night, and it should be a blast for all of the hour or two that I'm probably gonna live for. So well, let's get ready. Feels like a lot, but it'll it'll go it'll go fairly quick. Uh, there's no way I'm gonna use all of this ammo, but uh, I'm gonna carry about what I would carry in a fairly late stage situation like this. Normally I wouldn't do anything near as dumb as set up in a fucking trailer park and expect to live. But here we are, and here I am with a ton of bullets for my nine. So whatever. Let's go ahead and get on. Let's go ahead and start at the other end. I feel like that's going to be the smarter move is to start at the other end because we want to kind of work these down one by one. You know, if I can keep them wearing these front two evenly, fall back, go over there, and then eventually fall back into there, then I, I think it's going to be a lot more manageable than if I were to start back there because it'll just tear my base down. You know, the only place that I kind of do have to go for a little bit of safety should I need it. So let's go ahead, get the day reset, and get started. Let's do this thing. So the bad thing about this setup, oh, here's the new business zombie. Can't hit anything, but uh, the bad thing about this setup is that I don't really have any, any real ability to, oh shit. Oh man, that was good. I don't really have the ability to shoot them straight down. So I've got to move trailer to trailer probably and do my best to keep hitting them. And well, they're grouping up here and over there. That th this isn't this isn't a good thing. I'm I'm guessing. This is a bad thing. Oh shit, what? How did that happen? Oh no, what the fuck? Man, that was a pretty big whiff. I was trying to hit like the side of this trailer or something. Ah, shit. That's fine. So I brought some coffee. We're good, we're good. Let's get a better angle. And let's go ahead and get Junky out somewhere. I think that'll be helpful. I guess what's happening is they're attacking a lot of the doors first. Technically they could, you know, stair step path in. Um, well, I don't know, that's not a door. They're attacking it. What the fuck are you guys doing? That's pretty interesting though. I, uh... That's what I was doing this last time. They weren't seeming to pile just on windows like that. I didn't see anything about AI changes in the patch notes though. So that would be, that would be kind of surprising. And there's a good chance that 32 zombies is just a lot for uh, this small of an area and that they're going to group up kind of no matter what, naturally. Because it, it, we're a lot lower to the ground than I'd care to be, you know? Fucking everything is radiated. I 
Okay, so we took out a power pole. That's fine. We're not really upset about that. We're not the power company. I don't give a shit. Oh, fuck you, bird. That trailer looks very unsafe. Very unsafe. I'm gonna get the fuck over here, and we are going to set it right there. Shit, I gotta reload. No, fuck you birds. Fuck you birds. The cool thing is they try to path back up and they get stuck there like the stupid little night birds on Minecraft. It's a good tip for that game too. You build a fence top, they'll come in and then they can't get out and you just bash them or shoot them and it's a good way to farm their little wings. There is just a, there's just a mess out here. We've, we've only, oh. Guess we had a cop explode down there. We'll take it. Love it when the zombies help us. Junkie putting in work over here. All right, let's move because we don't really have, ooh, man, that is, that is spooky. Uh, almost falling off the rail there. We don't really have visibility right now. I feel like we took too fucking long to get over here. Nah, we'll be fine. There we go, a lot of fire down on him. Slowly cross that little corner. We'll bring it back over here. would be absolutely insane on 64. I should try that sometime. Maybe not. Maybe not the trailer park specifically, but something something kind of small like this and fairly tough with just a, you know, absolute abundance of zombies. And I feel like maybe dynamite would have been a good idea because if I had dynamite, I could disconnect paths if they got overrun. But as it stands now, if you know, one of my uh, one of my trailers gets compromised and it becomes a stair up. I'm I'm pretty fucked. And that would also compromise the top of our building over there and stuff too. I mean, we'd we'd really just be fucked, I think. So this trailer's pretty beat up, and I feel like they're gonna get up here soon. Yeah, that's not a good thing. It's funny, seeing the cheerleader zombies and a couple of the other zombies now, they just look so out of place. Everything else just looks so good. The great job the fun pimps have done with all these new all these new textures and stuff. I know people are waiting for a lot of changes, but you know, that's certainly one that I welcome. Spread some of this damage out a little bit. Man, everything's fucking radiated. Oh shit, that's not a good thing at all. And I would really like to see some fucking demos soon because I don't really have any other way to take out any part of my building and if they're getting up here. Oh shit, yeah, that's not good at all. got a nice open clean shot they're gonna attack those walls and we can see them pretty well so we're gonna drill shots with this thing so let's go and repair that up real quick while we do this
Oh no, you guys are attacking my main base. Y'all need to Y'all need to fuck off with all that. That's where I might need to hide from you later. There you. God, there's so many just pouring out there. Get a little fire down. Here too. I don't want to fall off the fucking ledge. That would be a mistake. Alright, let's bring it back into the middle. I'll be vulnerable to birds for just a minute. Oh, God. Do not fall. Shit. Click. Ah. Need from mags. But that's okay. That's why we didn't, you know, just give ourselves everything level 6 and stuff. You know, I want there to be some element of, of challenge and, and, you know, change in there. All right, Junkie needs reloaded again. Man, he's putting in work today, though. Putting in work. Great pal to have. Oh shit, this is that one really bad spot. Okay, but that's okay because we can shoot them from here and they can't really make it up anymore unless they pile on top of each other. But that's fine. That's fine. We can hold off here for a minute. We seem to be also, for some reason, going around a little bit. Yeah. A little bit more fire in there, too. Oh, shit. Did I set myself on fire again? I've done more damage than the fucking zombies have. Man, the SMG really does need the drum mag, though. Almost no fun otherwise. Up oh, there's the demos. Okay. 215. We got some demos out. Alright, now let's do this. Shit, there's a lot again. Oh no. Oh shit. Okay. Well, that's fine. That's fine. Let's just You know, not worry about that trailer for now. And come back over to and like nothing is really very stable anymore. This one maybe a little bit. If I can get it, yeah, there we go. Get it on the corner and start picking them off as they come over. I wish that they weren't getting the Ability support from that though. Oh, shit. Shit. Well. Okay. Tearing down the neighborhood. and use one of these. Shit, fuck you, birds. Try to fucking bird. <laughs> Alright, well, it's 3 a.m. Doing alright, I guess. Not great, honestly, but... You know, we've lost... One trailer, almost, almost lost this one. I really shouldn't go back over here, but this one is just in, I feel like, one of the best shape out of all of them. At least that I can see. It's also a darker color, so. So I think I'm just going to use this trailer 
as my final stand on top because I think we'll be okay. It's 348. It has a lot of HP. I can run back on this path a little bit, get some angles for mollies, maybe. No, not really. I can, I can landlock myself from my really protected one with fire. Uh, that's not good. Okay, it's 4 a.m., but we've still got quite the mess to deal with here. You know, the trailer park held up okay, though. Okay, good, it does explode. Cool, I just had to get some fire on it. Nice. Okay, so we'll get some fire down on these guys. I think that'll be enough to take care of a bulk of them. This place is a fucking wreck. It looks like a trailer park. Got some whites left over, but other than that, it does look like the fire took care of a lot of that big pack, along with some of my firing into them. Uh, and then I'll probably end up- oh shit! Oh shit! That fell! Oh god, okay, well. Now is no time to die. That's for sure. That was interesting. <laughs> we lost a trailer after 4 a.m. The one that we were standing on, of course. Oh. And I see, uh, see a guy hanging out in there. He was literally hanging out somehow. Oh, Big Mama's awake. Huh. Okay, well. Guess they respawn. I think the Wasteland has the higher respawn rate even in POIs, huh? So, we don't have shit in any of our looting skills. So yeah, there's not gonna be anything good in there, but we made it, you know? Uh, burnt through more of the ammo. Hey, there's our bunny buddy. <laughs> uh, burnt through more of the ammo than I expected, but we didn't, we didn't die, and that was kind of a surprise. You know, you saw it get built. Here is the aftermath. It's just, you know, that trailer is gone. Connecting path over there. This thing is, I have no idea how it's still standing. That's really weird. Like, I, I really don't, I guess that counts as the connection. I don't know, that's, that almost feels like a bug. Half this trailer went down. And half is, you know, actually in good condition. We lost most of this one too, and I think that was, we had some explosions there. Thankfully, we didn't really need to jump down in there. We just used this as the final, you know, top standing place, and that worked out really well. So some of the takeaways are that using a trailer park for a horde base night is a terrible idea. Like, absolutely awful. I had the luxury to prepare and not really worry about wasting so many materials. And that was, you know, probably quite a bit of iron and, and iron ingots for the the paths and stuff and it's not like we could pick this stuff up or reuse it i mean we wouldn't want to rebuild this this was not an ideal way to fight there really wasn't a way to shoot down on the zombies we had to go trailer to trailer to really be able to pull them out to shoot at them fire was one of our best friends here these help pretty well against birds honestly not as well as i wished and i don't know like why this one fell uh at all, but it, it did, so whatever. And it, at least this one, you know, fell. It didn't it didn't just hang on the top like, you know, I get why that's doing that, but I what the hell did that one fall for then? So ultimately, not a great idea. I 
I was able to waste a lot of ammo, and we didn't have any traps or anything, so normally we would want something like that. That way we're not wasting all this ammo. There were no traps. We, we only had a junkie. I mean, there was just no help at all other than us and our guns. So that was it. Trouble in the trailer park. Uh, you got to see it here on Beast Motor Bus first, so make sure to like and subscribe. And tune in for the next time we do something absolutely fucking ridiculous. Beast Mode or Bus.